I'm trying to explore the question that I myself and I believe many has been asking. What is the best launcher now? Is that Envoy or Tetra? Let's try to compare. In this build, I'm trying to compare them apple to apple. This is a flash internal bleeding plus hunter munition build with critical delay and vital sense firestorm prime cryo rounds for the additional damage i have a base toxin so with that toxin plus impact plus flash will give me a flash viral build i'm putting in chamber but i reckon if you put in a split split chamber you may have better damage number now because there are feedback saying that the Governize mods does not work on projectile weapons. The same goes for the Governize aptitude. So until that is fixed, you could have just put in a split chamber, the ordinary one instead, for the 90% multi shots as compared to the 80% with a stack up chance. If this stack up doesn't happen in actual, then there's no point of using it. However, in my comparison, I will use the Governize Chamber in both Envoy and the Tetra. In fact, I will use the same, same build except on the Vigilante supply. Envoy has no ammo issue. However, the Tetra will have a very ammo hungry mechanic that requires the prime ammo mutation. So let's look at the damage number. I will use the Greenia faction for now. Take note that if you use Infested, you will get huge, much larger number, typically two to three times because of the lack of armor. So ignore the first round because this is just for warming it up. As you can see, the Mercilus is starting to ramp. I'm shooting in general direction, taking damage using the AoE instead of headshots, which is kind of the whole point of using a launcher weapon. So quickly go to the side again before it ramps down, more test shots, two shots, three, four, slightly less than four. That is your envoy against the Greenier. So two to three shots once you have ramped up your stacking. And in you, as you can see, in most cases, the Firestorm has wide enough range to cover the entire spawn area. Envoy has no ammo issue. It got eight shot when fully reloaded, but the reload time is quite long as compared to tetra this is the reload time let's switch to tetra we already have the enemy spawn but tetra requires you to switch to semi mode your odd fire in order to gain the launcher capability and every shot it will empty all 80 ammo in the magazine first shot second third. and yes the area of damage is larger as compared to the envoy i have 12 x now so you can see I can take down the enemies within two to three shots. I reckon even shorter. Two to three. At the general center of the, the pack, two shots, three shots, and clear. Let's talk about the mechanism of Tetra. It has 960 as the total ammo pool, and that gives you about 12 rounds of launcher shots. Believe me, that 12 round is going to be easy to deplete if you are shooting mindlessly, taking down enemies that are going solo instead of in a crowd. The best use case scenario for it is, of course, a room cleaning tool, especially good for cleaning up the trash mods. But if you are taking your 960 total ammo count and go in to hunt, a, 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 let's say, a, a boss fight, 12 shot is not gonna bring down any boss. If there's not enough spawn nearby, then you would end up having not enough ammo to continue and thus resorting back to the melee route instead. Envoy on the other hand will not have that problem. Yes, it got only 48 only, but it's quite ammo efficient. Each round of those count and each round of those will give similar damage number as your Petra. It's undeniable that Petra is now a, a good weapon to steal some kill from your squad, but Envoy can also do the same. Because it's so ammo hungry, you need the prime rifle ammo mutation that gives you this much higher 
conversion rate whereby pistol you get 1 into 14 and sniper 1 into 28 if you compare that to your vigilante supplies this is 1 to 6 and 1 to 12 that is more than two times difference here so you got to have a prime rifle ammo mutation and to make it bleed even further to make it damage even higher i would highly recommend for a primary merciless which is kind of the only primary arcane worthy of using so with envoy you can pretty much live with the vigilante supplies you will be fine using it to slot in your primary merciless i'll just keep the galvanized chamber here for the sake of it i may replace this when if when or if the galvanized mods get fixed but if you look at apple to apple comparison they are quite on par in actual game the tetra will give you slightly higher numbers and more occurrence of higher numbers but their ability is quite the same and if you look at Q per second APS they are in fact quite the same because Tetra requires you to reload your your ammo every round every shot while Envoy you only do it once every eight shots and if you hold hold down the fire button it will auto shot and auto reload for you I'm holding down press and hold you can see it will empty it and after a while it would auto reload for you continue to shoot again doesn't matter much if you are playing uh, active gaming style but Tetra is different in this sense you can't press and hold you need to release your trigger before you can make another shot and don't forget to toggle once you go into its mode I'm holding down the trigger and it doesn't reload I need to release it make a shot or it won't make the shot not by itself anyway not a huge drawback just a, a behavior or the mechanic that some may not find it convenient and let me show you why in the actual gameplay i'll use a high level infested survival steel path mission to demonstrate starting with tetra switching into semi mode see the number ram i need to wait for it to complete the reload action and both of these launchers you you do need the prime sure footed to keep your self sending i'm starting to get six digit damage here if you have the helmin invigoration boosted for like 200 percent then you may get millions one to two millions but for a normal gameplay which is where i what i'm in now without the invigoration boost I'm getting 6 digit 200k, 300k, 500k. So, yeah, I'm out of ammo. See, I can still pretty much charge forward and shoot the moment it reloads, all by manual triggering and watching closely the reload action to be done. And I don't need to do that if I'm using Envoy, it's pretty much automatic, except it will take a toll during the reload time. The auto reload will come we kick in slightly later room cleaning it is and bear in mind all this is without using any ability to stay alive my clone has done the job for me taking down the acolyte anyway you can survive with this but it is not very ammo efficient the reload is gonna be clunky for some if you don't mind that you can use it but if you do mind that then you should probably look at envoy let's head to extraction and see what envoy can do so we have recorded some 500k damage just now not constantly but it does give the number one and all every so often five digit let's make a swap switching to envoy back to steel path infested survival i can be at ease there's no mode switching required no odd fire i can just shoot away 300k let's try go into auto mode auto reload auto shoot i'm dead see the longer reload time is a problem if you are doing auto auto shooting clearing the floor but you can aim slightly further away because it does have the room cleaning capability as well as you probably notice now the damage number is not as high as envoy but one reload gives you eight bullets eight shots i can just aim out and shoot that is if you are into lazy gameplay like i do sometimes because they are all slash damage 3k that's 110k 
140. So yeah, lower number, higher KPS if you ask me. Because you can keep shooting 100k, 743 in some rare case. And because you are also using the Vigilante supply, you get that occasion drop of the extra crits. Of course, you don't need to shoot blindly unless you have to, right? You can time your shot. And I will cho choose this over Ogris because now I have a bigger pool of ammo. Magazine size of 8. I don't need to time it like pew pew pew, reload, pew pew pew, reload. I can just shoot away and only reload after 8 rounds. 370k. So every shot is a big chunk away from the Echolite's health. If you use Total Eclipse, you could even do a one shot 383k damage 198 554k oh yeah who would say this is not viable so i wouldn't give you which choose which gun to choose in my summary i would just give you what do i prefer and i would go for envoy myself just because of the better versatility and less thing to worry Somewhat good for boss kills, not as ammo hungry. No need to trigger for the odd fire every time I enter mission. All those add up, I think we have a solid plus. If the zero fallout of the Tetra is, as people predicted, an oversight of DE, they may fix it soon. They may fix it. We don't know how soon that is. But even if it's fixed, I think the that gun is still viable as a launcher. It's just that. The mechanics will turn some people off and in comparison i i tried my augris is not as powerful it doesn't give me as high a number of damage i also tried the kubasa which is another viable option some like it some are impressed by its power or, or damage number but i have one point that i dislike that is on its reload mechanism if you compare kubasa with, with versus envoy Kuvasa need to reload bullet by bullet and if you add up those reload time is actually quite long of course you can play tactical you can retrieve touch forward and then retreat that is that will add that much bit of hassle to the gameplay gaming style if you can take it you can probably outdo this one or not i don't know you can try and let me know in the comment section the other very good contender that is the kuwa brahma i think that is still popular but the brahma also have ammo issue may not be fair to call it issue that is its design and uh, a balanced design from what i can recall brahma has eight ammo and you need to run around like mad men collecting ammo just to beat the hungry ammo needs that is somewhat like the tetra so these two in this department they are quite the same if you don't mind that kind of mechanism go for it there's no right or wrong here it's your game it's your gaming style you get to decide what you like and what is best for you and for that same reason i'm not gonna give you the best gun here i will just tell you what i like and you get to decide on your own what you like if you find this helpful please like share and subscribe and do leave a comment below if you have better builds if you think you have other tips that you want to share to the community that help other players or if you have any idea that you think i should try leave all that in the comment section thanks again for watching we'll see you in the next one take care